Hey, how you doing guys? Welcome back as to this back. Get out of this. Hey! I have this 2015 Jeep Compass and we're gonna do the the left wheel bearing. Alright, but uh, I think I'm gonna end up pulling the whole thing with the assembly, hub, hub assembly, you know what I'm saying? Just come with me, I'll show you how to do this, alright? So yeah, before I get into the Chabanga bang. Before I get into the, the whole nine, uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit it, bang it, destroy the subscribe button, please, all right? And uh, uh, do the same with the like button. And if you know how to do it faster, if you have any comments, any feedback, put it in the comment box for me, all right? I would appreciate it. This is the bottom of the morning. 9.36 uh, a.m. And uh, come with me. I'll show you how to replace the, the wheel bearing. All right. Uh, with a stool. With me. All right. Uh, come with me. I'll show you how to do it. Buru. A stool. Hey.
Hey, how you doing, guys? Welcome back. I still back on back. Yeah, this is hey. Welcome back. How you like the video? How to replace the left rear bearing in this 2015 Jeep Compass? Hope you like it. Um, that's pretty much it. We just uh, I'm gonna do a rundown, okay, of what I did. Remove the tire. I'm so saying, keep the lock nuts with a 19 socket. Then you're gonna remove the caliper. Okay, Re remove the caliper with a 14 socket. The caliper is being held by two bolts. And then after that, you gotta remove the, the rotor. Hit the rotor with a hammer. And then it's gonna come out. Well, you have to wiggle it to, to, to remove it. And then after that, uh, there's four bolts that hold the, the bearing. Okay, four bolts, you'll see it. There's four bolts around the axle, okay? Also, don't forget to remove the, the, the nut that hold the axle, all right? That's a 32 socket, okay? And 17 for the bolts that uh, hold the bearing in position. All right. Once you remove the uh, the bearing with the whole uh, shoes, with the brake and all that, hit the bearing up. Be careful with the sensor. Okay, remove the sensor before you start moving the bolts. Once you do that, uh, hit the bolts. With a 17 millimeter socket and then that's it once you remove the brake hit the bearing with a hammer and it's gonna pop out so yeah the bearing is gonna pop out once you hit it with the hammer then put the new one make sure the sensor where the sensor goes is aligned with the uh, with the bearing all right and that's it I hope you like it like I said Hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next one, all right? I'm not going to hold you up no more, and sheesh! Uh, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and the feedback, put in the comment box for me. Catch you in the next one. Holla at your boy, Astu Hey!